This is Catholic Forum. I'm Bob Krebs. And on today's program, we're very happy to have uh, two terrific guests. Uh, First of all, it's Colleen Marone. And Colleen is the president and CEO of uh, Goodwill of Delaware and Delaware County. Colleen, how are you doing? Good morning. Thanks for having me. I'm glad to have you here. And we're going to be talking about the great work of of Goodwill and a little bit about you in just a minute. Uh, Before we do that, let's introduce uh, Fritz Jones, who if you are a regular listener to Catholic Forum, you know Fritz is the longtime executive director of Catholic Charities of the Diocese. And uh, Fritz, welcome back. Thank you, Colleen and Bob. Good morning. Yeah. Pleasure to be here. It's it's good to have you here. And the reason why we have both of you here today is because there's a new program, a partnership that Catholic Charities and Goodwill are participating in, and we're going to uh, talk about that interesting um, project in just a moment. But before we do, let's get to know you a little bit. Let's start with you, Colleen. Um, tell us about yourself. Sure. Um, well, I've been at Goodwill for 33 years, Wow. Um, a long time. Started out as an administrative assistant to the CEO at the time wow. and, you know, just continued my career opportunity growth, went back to school, attending Wilmington University, um, and then went into a lot of executive development um, programs mm-hmm. and about 11 years ago became the CEO of Goodwill. Wow. So outside of work, I have three kids. Um, uh, two of them are in college right now. We just sent them off. We were so we're currently empty nesters for the first time, which <laughs> is fantastic. <laughs> Yeah, I, I, I remember when we first became empty nesters. It is a good feeling. It's a great feeling. Yeah. <laughs> and Fritz, now uh, Colleen's been with Goodwill for 32 years, so she's just a rookie compared to you yeah, uh, at Catholic right. Charities. Yeah. You've been there for how many years? 45. 45, and you're only 51 that's years right. old, I so that's amazing. Young. Yeah, yeah, right. yeah. <laughs> so, I was saying to Colleen, when I took the job at Charities, I figured I'd stick around for six months, but here I am yeah. a few years later. Yeah, so. a few. And uh, um, you're you're a Delawarean. I am. I'm a native Delawarean and uh, you know, graduate of also Wilmington University and uh, Widener with my masters. And uh, I have my uh, I actually um, listening to Colleen about her children going off. One of my grandchildren just went to college <laughs> <laughs> last week, so uh, tells you a little bit about uh, my age. But, uh, you know, where I've been lived in Delaware my entire life, and of course uh, worked for charities my entire professional life. And like Colleen, you started low in the started totem as pole, a child care and, counselor, yeah. working with abused kids, and just kind of moved my way up and uh, pursued my masters and started doing administrative work and was some, for 13 years the operations director until named the executive director a little over two years ago. Yeah, that's great. Well. So many years of experience between the the two of you, so it makes a lot of sense that you would get together and and form this partnership. Um, Before we do that, in case our listeners aren't familiar with Goodwill, tell us about Goodwill in general. Sure. I'd love to tell you about Goodwill because most of the time when people hear the name Goodwill, they think of one of two things. I've shopped at a Goodwill store or I've donated to Goodwill. And we appreciate both of those Mm -hmm. because it supports the real mission of Goodwill, which is to put people to work. Um, It's a power of work, helping individuals develop the skills that they need to obtain a job and to keep a job. And we do that through the businesses that we run. So we have our retail stores. Uh, We have 16 stores in Delaware and Delaware County. And we also run two other businesses that support the work that we do. One is an industrial cleaning business. Hmm. So we clean probably about 1.5 million square feet per day, mostly state of Delaware buildings. Hmm. And then the second building, uh, second business is a temporary staffing agency. And we have nearly 500 individuals on any given day that are working in temporary positions throughout the state of Delaware. Hmm. Um, and that's putting people to work. We have over 1,000 employees at Goodwill. And we've been in Delaware for over 103 years so you know we are um, a, a long-term um, you know historical nonprofit here in the state of Delaware mm-hmm. I didn't know about the cleaning and the um, placement business so yeah this is uh, educational yeah. for me too so yeah <laughs> yeah it's one of those things that people you know they don't realize, have in yeah. mind that they're doing something good by donating to goodwill right. but they really um, aren't much more familiar with yeah. more than the store. Great. And Fritz, give us your elevator speech on uh, Catholic Charities. Well, I think uh, most are aware that we are the uh, 
the social service arbor the diocese, of course, uh, which means we're in Delaware as well as the Eastern Shore, Maryland. Um, we have about 75 staff that last year served about 83,000 family members, people in our community. Um, kind of overall, we do a lot of work. We run the largest program we run is the Low Income Heating Assistance Program for the state of Delaware, which helps thousands of families with heating and cooling utility bills. Uh, we have a robust rental and rapid rehousing program helping folks that are either close to mo losing their home because of rent issues or people that are homeless. So we do a lot of work like that, serving uh, probably 300 families a year with over 750 to $800,000 worth of rental assistance for any given year. Large, robust food distribution program, particularly in Sussex County and Princess Anne in Maryland, but we're looking at growing that here in Newcastle County as we speak. And... Uh, we all also operate a behavior health program providing mental health support treatment services in all of our service locations uh, we have a shelter byard house many people are aware of that the residential maternity home for at-risk um, moms and teens mm -hmm. and down in milton we also have a 12-bed shelter for homeless adults mm -hmm. we have a small immigration program we also have a, a nutrition program that helps daycare providers throughout the state of delaware uh, provide nutritious meals, and uh, we also operate and oversee for the diocese Marydale Retirement Village, which is a 108-unit apartment complex for extremely low-income seniors. So we're kind of busy. Is that, yeah. is, is that all? Yeah, yeah that's yeah. all. But, but we're looking for more to do, too. Yeah, so, sure, ab yeah. absolutely. Yeah. So how did this partnership, but, well, first of all, let's talk about the partnership. What is the partnership, and how did it come about? <laughs> so, um, well, the way it came about, was we have a board member by the name of Dave Tiberi, who is also a great friend of Goodwill, among many other nonprofits. He's very, very well known in the community. And uh, one of the things that uh, he uh, brought to the table when he became a board member with us was saying, you know, I'd love to introduce you to other people that I've worked with in the community or over the years. And one of the first ones he thought of because of uh, what we were experiencing at charities was Goodwill. One of the things that we i made a decision pretty much over COVID. Um, the thrift center that was on the east side of town was, you know, it, it was, we couldn't collect anymore at that point in time. We, we knew we wanted to continue to provide the opportunity for people in our parishes that have, con that are, that have always wanted to give items, um, mm -hmm. you know, used items, new items to, to the thrift center that we operated in the city to help low-income folks. So we were like, well, how do we fill that gap if we're no longer going to do that? Because it's really something that we just couldn't see ourselves continuing to do. And that's when Dave said, hey, let's, let's call Colleen. Let's get a, a conversation started with Goodwill. And so that's really what brought us to the, to the table. Um, and the, the idea was how can we collaborate so that we can work with parishes, continue to do or, or restart parish drives that we had done in the past where typically folks will bring things over the weekend from a Friday through Sunday with the masses to, at that time, our truck um, and, and donate a lot of items that would then come back to our thrift center. So mm -hmm. how can we continue to do that? We were still getting calls and interest for that. And that's when we started to talk to Goodwill and Colleen about, well, maybe there's an opportunity for us to, to do this and direct those donations to Goodwill. And so that's kind of how that started. And yeah. I don't know if you want it to. It seemed like the perfect opportunity for Goodwill. Mm -hmm. We collect over a half a million donations from the community each year. And it's the life and blood of the entire organization. It starts with that donation. Mm -hmm. um, and to partner with an organization like Catholic Charity, where we could both be um, looking to do our core mission, our core competencies even better, kind of made perfect sense to us. Um, so through the collection of donations through Catholic Charities, um, we then in turn give Catholic Charities back gift cards that their individuals can use at any one of our stores um, in Delaware and Delaware County to be able to find the items that they need at that point in time in the size that they want and the color that they want or the kitchen appliances or housing um, wares that they might need. Mm -hmm. So it, it gives them a broader opportunity to be able to get items that, um, that they need, but also things that they like. Mm -hmm. And it gives a, a higher um, opportunity to, to lots of different things at many different locations. Right, right, right. And it really helps the client with a sense of dignity when it comes to that. They can go and pick yeah. the things that they want, what they like. And uh, that's not always the case in, in some of the circumstances where, where they go to get donated items. Right. 
And so, um, you know, the, the cards themselves are actually, they have both Goodwill and Catholic Charities logo on them, so folks in the community can see this collaboration. And uh, we think that is critical because we know there's more opportunity, not just with Goodwill, but with other organizations. And we want this to be a model. Mm -hmm. um, so uh, we're, we're very excited about that. One of the things I want to make sure I mention, so the idea of this is we're, we're working towards our first couple of weekends at two different parishes. One of them is the, the next to last weekend at St. At Anne's in September, and the last weekend of September are on um, St. Margaret of Scotland. And so those will be the first ones where we actually have this relationship where Goodwill is going to assist with the donations. They will take them back, weigh them, and then give us a certain value of gift cards back. We are going to give half of them back to the parish so that they can use them in their St. Vincent de Paul or parish social ministry or night's work that they do as well. Um, but I just wanted to mention one of the terrific gifts that Goodwill did for us a few weeks ago. Mm -hmm. uh, Leah, her operations director, and Colleen Cave, and said, we, we don't want to wait until these. We, we wanted to give you something to start with and get donated $2,000 worth of these gift cards to us already. Wow. And so that was a terrific gift uh, and an example of their commitment to us. And, and so uh, we're, we've begun to, to get them in, in the hands of clients. Uh, we have a client at Byard House that's going to be moving out rel relatively soon and needs all kinds of homewares and goods, and she's very excited about the opportunity to use them. So that's just one example of the many ways we're going to get them throughout the diocese, not just for us, but through the parishes as well. That's, that's very interesting, very interesting, and very generous. My guests today on Catholic Forum are Colleen Marone from Goodwill of Delaware and Delaware County and Fritz Jones from Catholic Charities of the Diocese of Wilmington. Is this kind of partnership between two uh, you know, well-known uh, nonprofit organizations who both have long histories in, in our area to, to, to have a, a joint um, enterprise like this is something unusual or what? I think it's something we need to see more of. Right. It's, you know, we're two organizations that are doing good, come together mm -hmm. and help others right. at, so that we can get that into their hands faster. Um, and, and I love the idea that the parishes are also sharing in this as well. Right. So, you know, it's really a third individual right. um, that is benefiting from the relationship yeah. Let, let me let me see if I get this right. So in the past, but before COVID, which kind of everybody uses that kind of <laughs> as a thing exactly. before COVID, um, a Catholic Charities thrift store truck would go to a parish on a predetermined weekend. The parishioners would bring their clothing, their furniture, their home goods that they wanted to donate to Catholic Charities. And then Catholic Charities would take that to their thrift store in Wilmington and sell it or make it available to the public Correct. now the same thing will happen there'll be a given weekend um <clears throat> but goodwill's truck will come is that right or is i that believe it be might still be a catholic, catholic charities, charities truck. truck okay um, but there'll be goodwill bins goodwill, goodwill bins, bins right <laughs> so then the, the folks in the parish gives to the the truck the goods go to goodwill goodwill weighs it and there's a um per pound, whatever, credit, right. then uh, the Catholic Charities will get gift cards and the parish will give get gift cards to give to the folks that they're helping. Correct. And it's, and it's a win-win, yeah. right? Yeah. It's yeah. a win-win-win. Yeah. And we can also yeah. give donation receipts yeah. at, at those events for Goodwill Great. so sure. that individuals who um, you know want to be able to track that yeah. will have the opportunity to have that donation um, receipt. Yeah. How does it how does it benefit both organizations? I know that's kind of a, you've probably covered it, but is there something that I'm missing? Well, I think that it's re it still reengages us with the parish, which we continue to want to do and, and expand. Sure, right, um, and so we think that the interest uh, is going to. I've already already gotten a third diet parish. It's called about wanting to. Uh, and I, so I think it's a tangible thing. But not only that, if you remember in the previous drives that we would do before COVID, we would bring the goods back. We didn't share any of the income we generated through the sales of things. And we gave a lot of things away as well, but right. we supported the community. This way we're giving something back to the parish because we know how busy they are in supporting their local folks in their community as well. Right. So that's really a unique thing that not only are we getting, but they're getting back as well. Yeah. And for goodwill twofold we're trying to have the community understand that we're more than just a store 
Mm -hmm. um, more than just a, an organization to donate used goods to. Um, but it also provides us with an additional um, source of donations so that we can provide more services in the community as well. Yeah. And it's amazing, you know, um, Catholics belong usually to one parish. They go there every week. They support it. Uh, but they really don't know, and they know what their parish is doing to help the community, but all of our parishes are helping the community with the St. Vincent de Paul Society, mm -hmm. who have been on the program just recently, talking about their good work and the Knights of Columbus. So the thing that, you know, it, it helps the parishes outreach as well, and it's, it seems like a wonderful, a wonderful um, uh, project. What's been the... Um, the response so far, you say you've got uh, three? We have two parishes that are already on the schedule right. another that's called about information. Uh, St. Elizabeth Anseen has expressed some interest in it. And uh, we've actually kind of waited to send out information to all the parishes about this is how this will work and what you need to do because we want to get the wrinkles out sure. mm -hmm. of this first go around. And when that's done um, and we feel confident, then we'll contact uh, every parish. We'll, we'll send information out collaboratively about this is what we're doing. You know, there's been some article out, but this is going to be more like a user manual. You know, right. how you're going to go and this is what you need to do, who you need to call. This is what we will accept. This is how we can schedule it and how this would work and uh, and get that out. And and then we'll see. I have a feeling it's going to open some doors up for us in some of our parishes that Charities doesn't have as big a footprint in. Right. And then that's also an objective of this. Right. How many locations does um, uh, Goodwill have in Delaware? We have 12 retail locations in Delaware, wow. plus uh, a by the pound store. It's an outlet store in uh -huh. Newcastle that also has a donation center attached. And then we have a attended donation center, so it's not a retail location in Hokesson. Wow. So that that's really going to help folks. They don't have to go to one particular um, location. They can go to the one that's closest to them. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, it makes right. a whole lot of sense. How do you see this... Um, partnership progressing what do you what do you see as the goal well you heard at the beginning Colleen sharing what goodwill does that many people don't consider and charities was as guilty as that as uh, lots of other folks but there are very important connections that we need to make with our clients as well as a matter of fact if Colleen has a few minutes after this uh, uh, I'm having a hard time filling two positions in our food distribution program and wanted to talk about how they could help because of our program. Right. Yeah. So uh, we we want to continue to learn about each other and our services. We want uh, uh, our staff, especially our managers, to go learn from, from Goodwill and vice versa about us so that we can continue to engage our clients in different ways and, and not recreate things but support each other in our efforts. Yeah. I know that um, having followed Catholic Charities for the last 23 or so years, you've done, you do a lot of referrals and, and I'm sure Goodwill does that as well, but this goes beyond just yeah, a, a referral. So yeah. yeah, that's opening the doors for each other, just to have these conversations, you know, Fritz and, I, Fritz and I have been at these two organizations for a really long time, but it took Dave to bring mm -hmm. the two of us together. Right. Um, and now we start to see all the different ways that we might be able to do things more efficiently, more effectively, or, you know, send a referral their way or send a referral our way. Um, so we can really maximize the, the resources mm -hmm. to a different level. Mm -hmm. That's terrific. And the other thing to keep in mind, too, is, you know, it, a lot of our funders, particularly with folks that give us grants, even contractors, contracts, one of the things that they are looking at more closely are who are you collaborating with? Who else are you working with to make sure that your impact mm -hmm. is, is as big as impact as it can be? So mm -hmm. that's a win-win opportunity for us as well, mm -hmm. as Goodwill. How can our listeners get more information about this program or any program uh, with uh, Catholic Charities and Goodwill? What's the best way? Well, for us, um, ccwelm.org or cdow.org um, or our Facebook page. Uh, we're going to be putting lots of information about this and ways to support this and other activities as well. At Goodwill, I would also suggest going to www.goodwillde.org. And we also have posting sites on social media, Facebook, Instagram. Mm -hmm. So lots of different ways to get in touch with Goodwill and Catholic Charities. It's a busy time of year here in the fall. Are there any upcoming events or um, anything that else we should be aware of? Fritz? Um, 
I do know, uh, you know, I'm bad at dates, but in November <laughs> is, the, is our uh, Bishop's 5K. Those dates are going to be posted on the website. Right. So for those of you that are out there with uh, your running shoes, get ready for that. That's coming up. And that benefits uh, Catholic and that Charities. Benefits Catholic Charities, yeah. and it's always a lot of fun. Yeah. yeah. One of the busiest shopping months at, at Goodwill is the month of October. Huh. Um, it's our Black Friday is the month of October, and that's to get your Halloween costume. <laughs> so if you haven't um, thought about Halloween yet, because the stores all have Christmas stuff out already, right. um, come to Goodwill and look for your Halloween costume. <laughs> all right, terrific. Well, Fritz Jones and Colleen Marone, thanks so much for being with us today on Catholic Forum, and um, many blessings on this joint venture. Thank you very much. Thank you. I appreciate it.